Hi there, it's DJB, and in this video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a studio tour. It's interesting to see how people situate their workspace, and you may find some interesting tools in here. This room is the spare bedroom in our house. So my parents have graciously lended me this space. And the bulk of my studio work resides at my desk. And it's dark right now because it's the evening, but I do have a window up there that lets in natural light. I have this swivel chair that I usually have towels. I use these towels to hold my models while I paint. I have my trash can down there. And my tripod usually resides here. It's uh, how I film from that angle because I'm right-handed. I have to film from the left side. Down on the bottom, I have my two Iwata airbrushes. So I have the Iwata Eclipse and the Iwata Micron. They're on a quick release adapter so that I only need one airbrush hose. Then I have my airbrush cleaning pot. I have airbrush cleaner down there and I have my air compressor. So that all kind of fits well on this like computer stand for this desk. And everything is connected to a power bar down there because I run a lot of electronic devices. And then this box actually is really useful. I use this box as a painting lift. So I prop the model up on this box so that I'm not hunching over so much. And it just happens to be a horse box. Um, and then I keep all of my Vallejo paints in my custom Micron box. I have one cup that contains random supplies. So I have some random knives, toothbrushes, my silicone paintbrush a exacto knife so just different tools that are random in another container i have really crappy cheap dollar store brushes and i use these for epoxy um, smoothing it out so i just buy really crappy cheap ones that are easy to throw away when they get too too bad and then i have one jar that's just my silicone sculpting tools because these are my favorite then i just have a container of water because sometimes i need just normal water and I have a couple other paints here that don't really fit so we have some airbrush flow improver I have my super glue here all of my golden high flow acrylic paints this is a masking fluid that I haven't actually tried yet and I keep some of my just cheap acrylic paints here then I have my giant stack of pan pastels oops and I've labeled them all so that they're really easy to use uh, then I just have some other types of paints back here including my golden and Winsor Newton and then I have a box of other random paints so some Joe Sanja some uh, other acrylics and then actually this contains all of my oil colors in the back the light I'm using is a daylight and it's supposed to emulate the sun and make you feel not depressed. I went through a time in the city but now it's just my studio light because it actually works really well. It's really bright and it illuminates this whole room. Or this is a Lazy Susan and I actually got this at the dollar store. It was like four dollars. So I use that for airbrushing. And then I just have a thumbtack board full of reference images that I have flipped and pinned as well as some projects that I'm working on at the moment and I have a full color swatch of all of my Vallejo paint. Uh, tucked away behind this paper are just some watercolor pencils. I have some fan brushes and just miscellaneous stuff, a pencil. So just like random stuff. I think my Sharpie's usually in there. Then I have some decent acrylic brushes that aren't great. Then I keep my makeup brushes separate for pastelling and I put my Winsor Newton detail brushes in here as well just so that they're easy to find. And then I've started actually buying nicer paint brushes for acrylic and oil. So these ones are just kind of the nicer the nicer ones and I also have that palette knife in there. Good old roll of paper towel and a good old roll of blue shop towels. And then I keep a jar of paint water and a jar of epoxy water. I keep them separate because epoxy builds up like residue in the bottom and then paint is normal so you definitely want to keep those waters separate so that you don't get weird buildup and I keep a separate paper towel for both things as well. Then I have my containers of epoxy sculpt and my two little containers of magic sculpt and I have a notepad just for jotting down thing color codes or video ideas I have. Of course everybody needs chapstick in their studio and then I have my Bose speaker because I generally listen to music or podcasts or videos while I'm painting. And then this always just lives here. This is just my kneaded eraser. It chills on the side of my desk. 
it's always there. I always know that it's there. Then this pulls out and I have a few more supplies. I have some like fancy pastels. I have a pink pastel that I bought specifically for pinking. I have my pencil sharper, sharpener and shavings. Then these are all my good clean paint palettes. I just use like cottage cheese sour cream butter lids. So that way I can have a lot of them. I have some of these micro fuzz brushes here and some nail tees as well as just normal q-tips and these kind of half pointy q-tips. Then I have my trusty bin and this can look like a nightmare but it's actually pretty organized. I keep most of my major stuff in this one. So I have some wires, I have scissors, pliers, bondo, tape, um, these are my glass beads, my baking soda that you guys have seen me use multiple times, my CERN relief, I have a hacksaw in here, some dead bits, a toothbrush for dusting, toothpicks, so it's like all the things that like I generally find myself using quite a bit. And then I actually have this container which is really awesome. It holds all of my special stuff. So like little things. Um, I have my Iwata lube in there. I have some mini magnets. I actually have some little horseshoes. So just general stuff but mostly airbrush repair and little spare parts. And that's really good to have in a little container so that you don't lose anything. So this looks like mayhem but like it's all stuff that I use pretty frequently. Then this one is the sandpaper one. So I have like one of these fancy cutting mats in there. And then I just keep little bits of sandpaper in this. So like when they're still good to use, but they're, they've been used, they go there. I have some extra sheets here and some extra paper plates for painting. In here, I just have some extra gloves and tin foil, socks for buffing, things for holding the models, towels that I can use to hold them. And I have some of these cheapy respirator masks. So, and then in the very bottom, this is generally the bigger stuff, so my heat gun does live in here usually. So anything like large I can just throw in here. So I have a hot glue gun, a hair dryer, and some manuals, just some Ziploc bags. So there really isn't much in there. Then tucked away on the side, I do have some extra sandpaper sheets, as well as this cutting board thing that works really well for putting things on to prime sometimes. And then I have a box for my paint palettes that are ready to be cleaned. Then I have this green stool and this works good. I put my vise on it so that I can saw horses there instead of over there. And it's a nice little place to kind of put my models on and take pictures of them with that wood background. And then this is all, <laughs> is literally the biggest box ever and it's all full of bubble wrap. I save a lot of it because I feel like I need to. <laughs> Underneath there is my Dremel box and I have some Dremel bits that live over here. Well, these are the ones that I use the most and then I have like the whole kit and everything that's extra over there on a little stool. And this little side table is where I do most of my Dremel work. <laughs> and my heat gun is here as well as my Dremel. It's like it's on a stand and then it has a flex shaft and that works really well. And then I have my newer ring light which illuminates there and I can move that around. I usually move it over to the main desk when I'm painting. I have all my live show pony pouches there. These two bins are actually full of briar stuff. So they're genuinely full of like my childhood briar things. So like blankets and hay and there's a wood barn in one of them. So they're kind of, they're just here in the house. I don't really know why. And I do have my sh live show bag back there, as well as a vacuum to vacuum everything. This is just another little table I have set up. Just good to have another workstation, somewhere to put things. And I have a little tray that I like to use to carry things if I want to like work outside or work upstairs. And so I have my filters here, my gloves, my safety glasses, and my respirator just hanging out. Another power bar, my second camera battery always going. And I have a space heater because it gets pretty cold down here. So I generally have it like facing me while I paint. And on this side, I do have another chair that's just in here, I don't know why. And this is my double stacked bed. This is my parents' guest bed and then the bed that I brought with me from the city. And then I have my amazing art easel. 
this art easel is my favorite. This is a $200 easel. The box was damaged. It was for sale at the store for $15. I love it. Over here is the great studio supply uh, shelving. I have recycling here because I save the environment. So I just have some more towels and paint stuff because this is a combination of model horse stuff and just general art stuff. I did a lot of painting so I have an actual like painting sheet and that's actually what I've put behind my whole studio is a whole paint sheet so that the paint can't get everywhere and they're really good. They're waxy on one side and then kind of absorbent cotton on the other side so that they work really well. Then I have some boxes of stuff. I believe there's acrylic paint in one. Don't know what's in that. And then my Iwata airbrush things. It's just extra little bits so they don't go missing. And I have a couple project horses just hanging out here. One with no head. And then in these boxes, this box is all my spares. So this is a thing of extra everything. <laughs> extra Q-tips, extra clay, Dremel parts, Q-tips, um, popsicle sticks, like anything I can think of. It's just extra stuff that I buy so that I have backups so I can just use backups and not have to go to the store. I've started sculpting things so I chop heads and tails off now and I'm keeping them and eventually I'll probably sell them. And then these lids to my containers that will eventually be recycled. And I have some extra tin foil here. I have my rubber gloves and some just white paper that's good to have on hand. So this is my commission horse that's waiting for paint. I have a couple little stable mates that were in the works and my arrow medallion and my arrow medallions artist proofs as well as these plexiglass rods. These are my beauty blender artist sponges. I have those in a box. I have yet to try those fully. And then this is just a bin of my silicone casts and some medallions that I have sculpted. It's kind of like a project box. Up here is my most common area for work in progress. So we have a Hamilton up there, Otheo, Croy, and my Long Moon Fjord, as well as this moody mare that's in the progress. And then I have this shelf which is slightly smaller and it's for my you know little little things that are happening. Here I keep my camera equipment so I have my camera lenses as well as my camera bag. I have this fan. I have some wood bases that I may use one day and my huge things of a magic sculpt that I bought. This is like a base thing. All of my primer and sealers. My problem is I have like a couple different kinds of primer and sealer. I've switched so I have a lot of old ones. I need to list them on like Facebook and sell them to someone local. When I open them I write open on the lids or I just take the lids completely off and that's how I know that the thing is in use so that I don't use them all and they all go bad. Then I have this shelf which contains my big art brushes for large scale painting. I have two things of isopropyl alcohol. One is 91% and one is 70%. I have some gesso. I have some gal kit. This is all my oil painting stuff. So oil painting things and my oil painting cleaning jar. And these are for little containers for my isopropyl alcohol while I use it. <laughs> these are all my stable mate bodies. I keep quite a few on hand. Some of them are in progress. I don't know. It's like a buffet of whatever I'm feeling. I have a medallion in here. I have this Marabella that never got to anything. <laughs> I have some sleech horses in here. So just like random projects. Uh, down here I have my mold making stuff. So a huge thing of airbrush cleaner back there. My easy off for stripping and my ease release for mold making. So I have some containers, some garbage bags for things. I have my monster clay here. A medallion I was working on and a thing of Lego for mold making. And then my mold making box just contains my silicone and resin a lighter, some popsicle sticks, plexiglass cups, different things. So everything for molding and casting. And then this is just the buffet 
of literally everything else. So I have a binder of reference images. I have cups <laughs> and stuff um, and an extra roll of paper towel and then some like older acrylic paints. So like I said, it's kind of a jumble of like just artsy things in general. And like back here, I do have all of my like canvases and there's some actual finish, finished paintings in there wrapped in plastic. Um, an old drawing of mine. Different things. And then we have the body box. It's just a buffet of different things I can work on. That's pretty much it. I like to keep all my things in one place. I like to keep backups of things. And it's good to have an area like when I'm finished painting or when things are drying. It's easy to put them here. The studio space itself is good because there's actually a door to outside in my basement as well. It's easy for me to go outside to spray things. I'll be very excited when I can have a big room with like desk that goes all the way around and I can keep everything contained but for right now it's okay. And hopefully you got some insight into what I have in my studio and how I make it work. It's been over two years now so this is a collection of things that you slowly grow and organize and you find what works for you, what products you use, what products you don't use. It's very hard to move houses <laughs> when you live like this. So thank you so much for watching and happy customizing.